Hey guys, I wanted to show a quick video on how I use the MC-101 as a sound module within my DAW. My DAW today is going to be Ableton. And let me go ahead and show you what my settings are and how I have it routed. So if I go to Live, Preferences, in the Audio tab, I have the MC-101 set as my input and output device. These are my output configurations. And here are my input configurations. And lastly, my MIDI configurations. So MIDI in and out, I have both track on and then the output sync is set to on. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and load in a plugin. Today I'm gonna to use Ripcord. And what I'm going to do next is go ahead and set my external instrument track. So if I go to instrument, external instrument, go ahead and load it onto the empty MIDI track. And now I'm going to set within Ableton, my MIDI from is going to be from the VST. And then my MIDI two is going to be set to the MC 101 on the MC 101. Track two is my synth, so I'm gonna make sure on Ableton that I have my MIDI sending to MC101, but to channel two. And from here, I'm going to rename this MC101 MIDI. And then on the audio track, I'm gonna go ahead and switch that as well. So by default, it's usually at one. But if you look at the, the audio from five and six is the stereo audio track for channel two. And now I'm gonna rename this MC 101 track two. So how the routing is going is I have my VST going to my MIDI, my external instrument, and then the audio from my external instrument is being recorded back into Ableton. So if I were to record and enable all these, and I were to play something on the VST, let me go ahead and open this up for you. You'll see that now I'm using the MC-101 as the MIDI controller. as well as the sound module. So I could go through any one of the presets. And select it. Once I find one I like, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter on the value knob to confirm. Go ahead and back out. And back on Ableton, if I were to record, let's go ahead and set up this metronome. Go ahead and turn that down just a tad bit. So you'll see I have my MIDI, uh, sorry, my audio track. I've recorded the audio. I've recorded the data within, the MIDI data within uh, Ripcord, the two notes I've played. And then on the external instrument track, you'll see the actual chords. And these chords could be exported by right clicking, export MIDI clip. And then from here, if you wanted to play this live, you could export that MIDI clip and load it into your clip view over here. So I hope this helps out. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below.